Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to Keegan's Kitchen. Today I'll be taking you on a journey back to Jamaica. You know, right here we have the Jamaican greater cake recipe. All right, this is a Jamaican tradition, Jamaican pastry. Um, I haven't had this recipe, this pastry in years. You know, like the last time I had it was probably when I was 10, you know, back in primary school. Long time. You get the picture, right? So I'm going to show you step by step how to make this delicious recipe. For this recipe today, you're gonna to need some granulated sugar, two cups, about one eighth of a teaspoon of almond essence, one fourth teaspoon of salt, fresh coconut, you're gonna need a grater, food coloring, red food coloring, or any color that you have available at home, some mixed spice, and that's it. All right, so now you wanna crack open your coconut. See it there? Mm -hmm. All right, so now you want to use a knife, a butter knife, and remove the coconut meat from the coconut shell. After you remove the coconut meat, then we're just gonna grate that, grate everything, and then boil it down inside the sugar. Yes, guys, so you just want to grate your coconut. All right, so now you want to add some water. Just a little bit, about one third of a cup of water. Add your sugar. This is two cups. All the uh, correct measurements will be in the uh, description of the video, guys. Stir it up. And um, I started off the stove on high heat, but once I add all my ingredients, I'm going to reduce it to medium heat. Now I'm going to add my grated coconut. Everything is going in. Not on our waist. Yeah. You remove this little piece of chunk. Stir it up. Just remove any extra chunky coconut. Yeah. Now we're gonna add about a eight, one eight teaspoon of almond essence. Add a nice little almond flavor to it. We're gonna add about the same amount of um, mixed spice essence, not too much, about one eighth of a teaspoon, same way. Turn up the flavor, you know. We're gonna add our salt, a little bit of salt. All right, guys. So once this becomes thick, you know, once it starts to thicken up a little bit, we're gonna remove a nice little portion of the coconut, about one third of a cup, and then we're gonna add the red food color into it and that's going to be on top of the white coconut all right as you can see guys 
The mixture right here is nice and thick. So I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium heat right now. And then I'm just gonna remove a little portion of the coconut. And this is what I'm gonna add the red food color into. And then we're just gonna lay it out on top. All right, so now you just wanna add a little bit of the food coloring. Mix it up. That's gonna turn red, as you can see. And the brighter you want the color to be, obviously you'd add more, but I think this is just perfect. All right guys, so we're just gonna remove this from the heat, pour it on top of a sheet pan, and continue the process. All right, so just pour this out on this nice little baking pan, baking tray. Make sure you scrape out everything. We don't want none of this good stuff to go to waste. Then we're gonna spread it out a little bit. Pour the red coconut on top. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Just spread it out a little bit. So it's pretty much like making like a double layer cake or something like that you know it's not perfect but it's getting there all right guys so after you apply your red topping you just want to refrigerate this good stuff for 24 hours and then you should be good to go yes guys so right about now we just go shape up the greater cake cut off the rough edges and all the good stuff and this recipe should be able to make like eight to ten um nice size cubes Thank you. 